So what we're going to do is we're going to take you through several case studies. We're going to ask for you to participate. So we're going to lay out two scenarios in which um, there, there potentially are some ethical issues and we're going to ask you whether you think there's ethical issues there or not, been ethical violations. Um, and then we have one case study that is really a case study that went through CAI's ethics review process and we're going to share with you um, the names have changed to protect the innocent or guilty um, and uh, share with you the outcome of that. The other thing that we're going to do once we kind of get through that process is um, when we went out and asked for the survey, we also asked for some participants um, and whether they would be willing to share their best, their practices on ethics. And so we're going to, we have a couple of those that we want to briefly share with you today also. So let's start out with our first complaint, and I'm going to read it to you um, in, involving Cooper Management. Marianne Johnson, former employee of Cooper Management, was, was accused of violations of ethical beha behavior. Former employee is important to remember. Cooper Management accuses Marianne Johnson of using the points from her association credit card for her personal vacation use. In addition, she ordered some personal items on the company debit card. Specifically, she purchased patio furniture when the association was repurchasing theirs for their pool. She obtained hers for her home to obtain a better price. Johnson was also accused of not paying advances she had received for her professional and membership costs to her employer, Cooper Management. So using some of the guidelines up on the screen that you see, Let's talk about a little bit of where do you see ethical issues versus where might you see just misconduct issues. How about the use of points from the association credit card for her personal travel? Ethical issue? Yes. yes. Why? Who actually owns the points that, belong, that the association credit card has with it? The legal entity. So the association actually has those points. Now, we're assuming here in the cases that we're doing that they do have code of ethics and ethical policies in place. But in this particular case, the association has those points. Happens every day in the industry. I'm sure that a lot of associations don't even realize they get those points, and I'm sure there are managers out there. But in this particular case, those belong to the association. Use the company debit card to make a purchase of pool furniture combined with the association's purchase. So she's purchasing something for her with the association credit card, she did pay that back, but in this particular case, um, she was trying to get a better price on the furniture. Ethical issue or misconduct? Was it disclosed? Um, good question. In this particular case, it was not disclosed. So it was misconduct, okay? Most likely, especially since she's repaying it, it's not really an ethical issue, it's more of a misconduct that she has gone on and done something of her own accord without disclosing it to the association. Then, in addition to that, um, we talked a little bit about the fact that she had received professional uh, membership costs to attend a conference from her employer and she had not repaid all the money that she had not used. Ethical issue? Assuming it was a policy, which it was, that she was to be reimbursed for the expenses she had, it would be an ethical issue. In both cases, um, she actually, in the first case, where it's against the association, in the third case, obviously, it's with her employer. So in this particular case, her release was based on the fact that she had ethical issues that involved not only her association, but also her employer as well. 